how to cure your complacency disease. In today's video, I wanna talk about the complacency disease that's killing so many young men's dreams. And guys, this is relatable, right? Because we've all been complacent at some point in our lives. For example, uh, the first time I started to see some, you know, a little bit of success in my life, uh, this was, you know, a couple of years ago. I think it was the first time I was really ever making like 10,000 a month, uh, you know, online from my own business. And this was like kind of the first time I ever made what I perceived at the time to be a lot of money, right? I was like, okay, things are going pretty well. I'm making good money here. And you know what I did is I fell into my comfort zone. I got comfortable at that level. And I actually stayed at that level for, for quite a while, over a year, uh, probably even closer to like 18 months at that, around that level, right, give or take. And during that time, you know, I was drinking every single weekend, e even actually during the week, I was smoking a lot of weed, I was eating pretty crappy, wasn't hitting the gym with the real intensity, you know, I wasn't constantly improving myself, constantly progressing like the way that I am now. So I wanna talk about the complacency trap, how you fall into it. So the first thing is, complacency can kind of come in one of two ways. And the first way is when you hit your first milestone in something and in your mind, you perceive that as success and you're like, hey, I can let off the gas, I can slow down, I can take it easy now, you know, I'm good at this level. And I'm gonna get to why that's a, pro a problem in a minute, but the second piece is you're just, you haven't even started, right? You're afraid to start, you're afraid to fail. Uh, you don't wanna look stupid, you're not willing to eat shit. You know, you're, you're, you're in that kind of phase where you're just not even starting, you're stuck in, you know, whatever existing situation you're in and you're stuck, right? You're complacent where you're at, you're like, eh, whatever, you know, this is where I'm at, nothing I can do about it. So the second thing I wanna talk about is like why that actually happens. So for the person who has achieved some level of success, maybe you're, you know, making your first bit of money, maybe you're uh, lifting weights, you know, you're starting to see a good, good improvement in your physique, but you're kind of getting complacent with it. And it's simply because your vision and goals are not big enough uh, or you're not actually, you know, committed to that big vision you might have. Because when you have a huge vision, you realize that like, hey, th where I'm at now or, or where I'm even, you know, going is not even going to be close to enough to satisfy that appetite you have. And it's really important, I think, for you to step back and really realize that vision. What is that vision you want to achieve, right? Because a lot of people are very short-minded. They think in like one less, you know, a lot of people think in day-to-day, -day, but a lot of, you know, even successful people think in short-term increments, six months, a year, where at the end of the day, guys, we're gonna be alive hopefully for a while. So we have a lot of time to realize big visions. And when you start to think about long timelines in terms of like decades, you can, you know, create a massive vision for yourself where your current level is not even gonna be close, even close to satisfying those visions, right? And I think that's the first part of not being complacent is having that huge vision and then being able to fuel yourself, take relentless action every day, even when you are succeeding, even when you're out, you know, and you wanna be out of that comfort zone because when you fall back into your comfort zone and that can happen at, any amount of money, any amount of success, that can happen to anybody, right? There's no, no one's immune to falling uh, back into their comfort zone or being complacent. So this doesn't matter at what level you're at, but it's important to have that vision and be aware when you're getting complacent. You'll notice, you're, you're gonna notice yourself. You're like, you're gonna start to kind of feel a little lazy. You're not gonna wanna do the hard things that you've been doing because your mind's tricking you into, hey, I have some success, I'm good to go. Uh, I can take it easy today. and thing is if you start doing that for a long enough period of time you're going to start to lose that success and none of us want that to happen now if you're in that second group of people who just is complacent at a really you know bad place they're just like whatever this is all i can do i'm stuck here there's not much left uh, i don't you know they don't have that belief system you're gonna have to do it anyway you're gonna have to really start to take the action because the action cures any problems the thing is when you take consistent daily action on stuff that you want to do your goals right your goals you are gonna feel a lot better you feel that progress taking place you and you can can consistently move forward with your life and yeah they're incremental little tiny bits of progress every day is what we want to shoot for um, and that's going to start to cure that complacency disease and you got to understand that it's never going to feel like 
you're making leaps and bounds of progress, right? It, it, the thing is, the internet just tricked people into thinking that this shit's supposed to be easy and fast and effortless, when the reality is that's so far from the truth that most days it's gonna feel like a grind, most days it's not gonna feel like you made any progress, most days it's you know gonna gonna be a struggle. But if you want to build an awesome life, if you want to build a life you're proud of, you have to push through. It's not an option. So guys, let's cure that complacency disease. Uh, we want to just completely eliminate complacency from our lives. We want to live outside of that comfort zone, live in a growth-minded state, because growth is a you know a good vibration, right? You feel good when you are growing. So you're gonna feel happy. You're gonna feel a lot better as a person. Uh, when you're actually doing that stuff, oppose it to being complacent, right? And a lot of people who are complacent, take a look at your daily habits. What are you doing? Are you engaging in low-level activities like vices, overeating, drinking, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, uh, vaping, watching adult media content, spending too much time on social media, arguing with idiots about politics, just arguing with idiots in general, stuff like that you know that's going to keep you in that low vibrational state which is going to make it harder for you to get out of that complacency zone so it comes down to your awareness on that stuff so take daily inventory of what you're doing with your time the habits you're engaging in and that's the first step guys building that self-awareness so you can move forward and continue progressing that was what was on my mind this morning guys we're doing a daily uploads make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video leave me a comment are you, have you beaten the complacency disease or are you still stuck also, I'm creating a free group uh, for like-minded people. There's gonna be kind of a free, I'm gonna give away my free program that's helped me achieve rapid success in every area of my life. Uh, I'm gonna give that to you for free in a little video format, and you'll be able to interact with other members, uh, including myself, and it's gonna be cool. So I look forward to seeing you there. The link to that will be in the description. And guys, I will see you next video.